Hello everyone and welcome back to the TSG today bringing you the start of a brand new goalkeeper career mode on EA FC 24. It's been a while since we've been between the sticks and I'm looking forward to bringing you this brand new video, brand new series. This was the one that was so, so popular back on FIFA 21 and FIFA 22 and I really, really am grateful for all the support on that or on them series. But we're getting back into it now. On EAFC 24, like I said, let's get into creating the player, let's get into some games, and let's get into this career. Keanu. So I've just done a random name generator for his first name, and it did come back as Aaron. So we'll go with that. I guess keeper-wise, Aaron Ramsdale not getting in the Arsenal squad at the moment, so we could go for a little homage to him. But anyway... We always go with the surname Southern on this channel for the Southern Gamer. So we'll go Aaron Southern. Go for England because I think if we get on the international stage, England are good to play for. Um, I'm going to go for 2002. No, let's go for 2004 and we'll just put a random day. What is today? October the 20th. Let's go for that then. That is his birthday. Height and body then. I think we're going to make him 6-6. And about 187 pounds. There we go. Position wise we're going obviously as a keeper and we are going to be right footed. Look at them attribute 67 everything at the moment. That is not good to start but hopefully we'll soon get that up. Let's go for that one then. Um, quite happy with the facial features. In terms of their hair. Um. There's a couple of different styles. I think I'm sort of swaying towards a more longer style. Um, I think in the past we've always gone for the short to medium hairstyle. I'm thinking this FIFA, let's just give, give him a bit of maybe some accessorized longer hair. Looks like Diego Forlan there. I think we're going to go with that for the facial hair then. We'll keep the hair colour the same. We'll go blonde. Um, and beard wise, what have we got? I don't want to go too crazy. I feel like that beard did suit him there. But maybe a more natural, smaller beard maybe. I think we'll go for that then. That is Aaron Southern. That is our keeper. That is who we're going for in this career mode. We will go for an untucked, oh yeah, an untucked kit um, with, yeah, we'll go with an undershirt. I think we're going to go for the Predator Edge Plus boots. These ones for now. Um, we will change it up though, of course. Socks wise, we'll keep them average. Goalkeeper gloves, um, let's go with, I've gone with the Rena Ego Tico Element gloves, Elemental gloves, they're what we got on, sort of matches the boots a little bit, we obviously can change it up and obviously team from team will have a different kit so we'll get that moved around, don't need to do anything there, no facial accessories I don't think, no definitely not. Tattoo wise, obviously on his arms we're never going to see them. On his legs we could, could give him something. I think on his right knee we'll go with that one. And on his left leg we will go with, that's very colourful, fills the whole leg there. Um, okay, no I think we're going to go with that. Yeah, we'll go we'll go with that then. That's his two tattoos on his legs. Goal celebration just in case we ever do get the chance. Uh let's go for Let's go with a golf swing celebration then. That'll do. 
I don't think we're going to score many goals. I don't think the free kick set piece style really matters. Penalties, potentially one or two. We might get over our whole career. We'll do the Samba. Running style, this. We'll, we'll do a darting striker. No, we'll go for the general. There we go. That is our guy created. Now time to choose who we're going to sign for. I am really tempted to start at Portsmouth in League One. Tempted to start in League One. Um, I usually start in the Championship. As you guys know, we've signed for a couple of different Championship sides in the past. I don't think there's any point, unless we go to a Premier League side and go straight out on loan. But I think the sort of standard we're going to be at to start with is Championship League One. I'm doing it. I'm signing for Pompey. Pen to paper. Aaron Southern. Pompey's new goalkeeper. Here we go. The boys are in training. Where are we? That's not us, is it? No, that's definitely not us. Go. The boys are moving it around nicely. There we are. There you go, we've been welcomed in. New face in town. God, we look like a beast. Look how big we are. She's welcomed us in as well. I tell you what, I'm feeling good about this one. Okay, so this is obviously new. Uh, current contract at the beginning of each season, you will renegotiate your contract based on your performance in league and cup matches. Your requested weekly wage directly impacts the objective that the club is setting for you. So our current wage is £400 a week. That's not very good for a professional footballer, I must say. I, I mean, our requested weekly wage is £5,100. And I think in order to get that, we have to um achieve what it's saying there it's all about danger from the wide areas at portsmouth the philosophy focuses on getting the ball early to attacking players on the flanks and overloading the fullbacks to get forward when possible so we got to start 26 or matches in the starting 11 we got to complete 26 percent so what's that a quarter of the season then we need to try and save 11 shots, win a game, catch a shot and parry a shot. So they're not actually unachievable, are they? We should be able to get to them contract, uh, what are they called, objectives and get that five grand a week. And I think that's where uh, we should be, five grand a week. Your path, choose a target team. Looking to transfer to another club at the end of the season? Pick your target team, then focus on making the transfer a reality. Recommendations. What you need right now are transfer recommendations. Your agent will be keeping an ear to the ground, trying to decide what's best for you. I mean, I don't really want to choose a target team. Because look, oh, this is still in League One. But say we wanted to go to a championship side next season. Let's say, who's flying? Leicester. Leicester will only take us if we hit 15 clean sheets, 30 shots saved, and 70% in the in the starting 11 with a 20 grand weekly wage there. What should we do? Should we set a target team? I don't know if I can do this a bit later on or if I can have to do this now. So I'm a bit unsure on what to do because obviously there's Premier League teams, I mean like Arsenal, that. Like some of these teams will just not take us full stop. Some of these bigger teams. But Everton, for example. Um, Luton, they're, obviously their um, criteria isn't going to be as high as the likes of Spurs, West Ham, Wolves. They don't want us. So it's only the teams that are really going to be relegated that are slightly interested in taking us. I think most of the championship will offer us a contract at some some way. At some criteria, should I say. I tell you what, the favourites for the championship have got to be, obviously in real life, Leicester are flying. Let's put Leicester as our 
chosen team if at the end of the season we complete all these. I, I guess we still have an option to stay another season at Portsmouth if we want to. So it's not set in stone. And I think we can also request a transfer to other teams that aren't Leicester. So let's just put Leicester. We know they're going to be challenging for the championship. If they do get promoted to the Premier League, then there's a chance for us to maybe get in a Premier League side. But let's just put that for now. We can, oh, you can change it right now. I don't know if we can change it later on, but we'll see. Um, let me know if you think I should change the target team as well. Let me know in the comments um, down below. Here we go then. We are in the sort of main menus. This is the league. Obviously, we've got Wigan. Is that our next fixture yet? Yeah, Wigan in the League One. We're currently a sub, as you can see in the top left there. Um, our player agents where we can see our path, our recommendations, our current contract activities. I believe we could go shopping. We could buy a trampoline, although we don't have the money to do that. We got zero pounds. My head's actually in the way, so I might think about moving the camera. Let, let me have a look what I can do with that. There we go. I think I've moved myself into a slightly better position there. Um, you can see I've got zero pounds to my name. I'm level one or level zero, whatever it is. Yeah, level one at the moment, 750 XP to level two. And I'm guessing I earn money every week of my contract, 400 quid a week. So, I mean, in a couple of months, I might be able to afford a trampoline. We'll see. Um, but it's telling me to greet my teammates. How am I going to do it? I'm going to let everyone know I'm ready, motivate the teammates, or say hard work begins today. And I have sort of different personality traits. So there's a Maverick, Vitusso, Heartbeat, Points. So I'm guessing it sort of shapes the sort of character you are. Let everybody know you're ready then. Um, post on social media to let your teammates know you're ready to challenge them and that they better keep up or get out of the way. Actually, I don't know, I don't know if that's the best thing to do. Maybe we'll go for heart, Heartbeat. Send a message to the teammates group chat telling them you look forward to achieving great things together. Yeah, let's go for Heartbeat. Let's not start with a big personality. Um, let's start a bit humble. Player growth then as well, just a quick look. We've got no skill points or points um, to put on at all. Um, I guess we earn them as we level up. But yeah, he's not a very good player at the moment. But hopefully we'll build him up pretty soon. Ah, there you go. Personality overview then. There is different play styles we can unlock. At the moment we are just a heartbeat, 100%, 20 heartbeat points earned from our greeting of the teammates oh we're 18 sorry my maths was wrong 18 we're already better than will norris the starting goalkeeper currently so i mean hopefully we will go straight in to the starting lineup or at least after a couple of um sub appearances or waiting a couple of weeks um we'll get our chance but there's a decent squad here for League One level. Hopefully, we'll get ourselves promoted this season. That's got to be the aim with Portsmouth here. First pre-season game then. I'm just going to jump to result on all the friendlies. I don't want to be a part of that. I'm not going to play. I'm just going to skip to the first game of the season. So, I will technically be playing in them. But, obviously, I'm not controlling him. So, we'll get a couple of points. But, the main thing... We'll start from the first game of League One. Just having a flick through this again. Um, we've got £1,300 to our name. Obviously, I don't think we can afford anything, if I'm honest. It looks like it... Where's the tram... Oh, the trampoline is there. So, these are all the things we can eventually buy, which will be quite nice. Save some money up and get a few of these shopping things. But there's also investments we can make. So... For example, it reckons an eSports team is a very low risk. 42,000 in, estimated to return just under 50,000. Um, and then same with the phone app, microfinance. Clothing brand is considered a medium risk. And invest in sports equipments, um, a high risk. So I'm guessing... You can either earn more than the estimated or less than the estimated or potentially less than what you paid. So I assume that's going to 
change. So that'd be quite interesting to actually make some investments once we get some money behind us. But for now, let's focus on the football. First game of the season against Wigan. I assume that we are going to be on the bench, yes? So 58th minute, we're being substituted in. Let's get into it. Come on. Aaron Southern, here he comes, his Pompey debut. It's telling me the Chiba 6.5. 50% saves to goals, avoid conceding more than two goals, which in the 60th minute of a game, I would hope we would be able to do. I'm just going to play this one short to the defender there. But we're in. First game of the season. They're coming down the wing, they put a ball in. Oh, we've come out and collected the first time we've touched the ball in our career. And we've done what we've needed to. Good ball. Bishop flicks it down. Morel hits it. And it's a goal. Come on. Joe Morel from outside the box. Puts us 1-0 up against Wigan. 10 minutes to go. Let's see if we can keep this clean sheet. I don't know if it counts as a clean sheet. I guess if you come off the bench and you're only on for half an hour, it's still technically a clean sheet. That's a great strike in off the post. Joe Morrell starts our season well. No goal for Wigan here, please. Smith plays it through. Wyke, good save. Oh, and it's cleared. Wow, we're on a seven rating. We've come out, collected across, and we've made a one-on-one -on -one save already. Luckily, it wasn't a great shot, to be honest. It was straight at us. But for our debut, 18 years of age, it's a big save. Morel, Bishop, here it is. Lowry shoots, and it's a good save from the Wigan keeper there. 2-0, I think that would have secured it. Eight minutes to go. They're getting a lot of action at both ends here. Scully beat the man, crosses, it's not a bad ball, we're still there, Lane shot is saved. That was a terrible header from the player um, to clear it, and then Lane had a head on goal, but it was quite an easy save for the keeper. He's still playing. There we go, finally, full time, 1-0 win, three points on the board, and technically a clean sheet, that performance might get us some manager points that will hopefully get us closer to starting. Look, there we are. Seven rating, one shot against, but we made two saves coming out as well. 100% passing accuracy, 35 minutes played. Not a bad debut. There we go. We've got some player growth. We're up to level three, so we've got some skill points to use. Manager rating, plus 25. All three objectives were met, so we're even closer to that starting 11. Quick look at our skill points then. We have nine to use, so I'm going to put two on reflexes. Uh, so how many? Uh, that used four points there. I'm going to use one on kicking, one on diving, and then that's all our skill points used for now. That puts us up to a 70 rated. What I want to do is not put our rating too high up that it's unrealistic for League One. So I don't want to go any higher than sort of 74, 75 this season. But then at the end of the season, we can maybe put a couple more on. But, you know, I want to keep it realistic for where we're at in our career. We're eighth in the division. Three points out of a possible three, though, is still obviously as good as it can get. Next game is at home to Reading. Let's get into this next game against Reading. It looks like they lost their first game as well. Um, and we obviously won ours. So we are going to be on the bench again. We're 1-0 down. 56 minutes in. We have been substituted on. This is going to get interesting. Stevenson, that's a really nice pass. Out to Ogilvy. What's he going to do here? Oh, it's a nice pass inside. Stevenson, Scully, Bishop, shoots and it's blocked. I think Scully could have hit that, you know. I'm not sure he had to play that extra pass to Bishop there. I've just noticed that the managers put it to ultra attacking. So we might come under a bit of pressure on counter attacks this last sort of 20, 25 minutes. Out wide. Jaria. Slips it back, Smith shoots, and Ogilvy blocks it. 
I'm not sure if that's a shot or a cross, actually. Morel. Sanchez. It's good football, I tell you what. We're moving it really well here. Ball in from Ogilvy. Bishop on the volley. And he's scored. I don't know how that's got through the keeper. That is very lucky, but we'll take it. We'll have a look at this one again. I think it's maybe gone under the keeper. It's a good touch from Bishop here. And then swivel, bang, into the ground. Okay, yeah, I mean, he has hit it quite well. This is the angle. But I think... I think the keeper's got to save that. One all. And a draw wouldn't be the worst result in the world here. They come in. Reading, 86th minute. Ajaria out wide. Let's mark up the men in the middle. Oh, Regan Paul brings it down on his chest. Luckily, there was no striker in the box there. There we go then. Full time, a one-all draw. When we came on, we didn't concede. We didn't really face too many chances. That's the only negative coming on as a sub. We don't get too much action in the game because we've only been on for sort of half an hour. But there we are. We'll take it. We'll definitely take it. A point and a win from our first two games. I think the 5.4 we got is a bit harsh, seeing as we didn't really do anything. It says shots against three, but I don't actually remember facing a shot, so they must have all been blocked shots, maybe. Um, we didn't actually really touch the ball at all. 6.50 on the player growth. Unfortunately, a minus 15 on the manager rating, but we will work on getting that up. I think if I do a couple of training sessions, that will boost it as well. So obviously it's realistic. A couple of maybe a sub appearances, cup appearances, and then hopefully we'll break into that first team. Um, but yeah, let's have a look who we've got next. So I've advanced on and we're actually against... Um, Bristol City and the Carabao Cup next. But what I'm going to do is do some training sessions. And I'll come back to you once I've done them. There we go then. So it's, we have done some training. And we've levelled up. So that's good news. I don't know if that affected... Yes, so we got plus 10 on each one of them. So it's actually better than having a good performance in the game, I think. Um, so we've got 30 plus on the manager rating. So it's worth doing a couple of training sessions to get us into that starting lineup. As you can see on the contracts, currently we've already won a match and we've saved two out of 11 shots already. So we should get that contract fairly easily. Let's get into this game then. 60th minute, we're being subbed in. Let's see how we get on. A cut run would be nice. We're away to Bristol City. Here we go. Norris is coming up. He comes off in a outfield player's kit though, which is a bit odd. And then we obviously come on as a keeper. But they've got a corner. Ball comes in. Wins the header. Ooh, I tell you what, that wasn't far wide. Paddy Lane sets it back. Bishop shoots and it's blocked, but it's still there. Oh my gosh. The keeper falls over his own player and then he clears it. Morel, Bishop, this should be a goal and it is. Morel with the assist, Bishop with the goal. We have 22 minutes to go and we could be through against the championship side. I think Bristol City have rotated their team and we have actually changed a few players in ours as well. Um, obviously, we didn't get the start, which was a shame. But Bishop bangs it past him. Bishop, Sanchez, Bishop, Sanchez, oh, and he curls it. I was going to say he curls it into the top corner, but it's actually hit the bar, come down and been cleared. We are much the better side, I tell you what. We play some nice stuff. McCrory, forward to Vyman, sets him through, one-on-one, -on -one, and we make the save. Get up, Swanson. Oh, we've gone to pick it up. And he's cleared it off our own player. It is so scrappy. But another one-on-one -on -one save. Swings one in. To the edge of the box. Shoots. And what a save. I'll tell you what, I didn't expect to get to that one. I wanted to see the replay there because I think that was actually going in the top corner. James sets it back. Wells blocked. 
Still there to the edge, James. Shoots again, blocked again. We've saved it. I tell you what, we have kept Pompey in this game. We've made some really good saves. There we go then. Full time, we advance through in the Carabao Cup. Hopefully we'll get a Premier League team. That'll be... I don't know if they're coming in the next round, actually. Um, but that would be really, really good if we can get a game against the Premier League side. Uh, the team's happy with us making them saves, I tell you. Seven rating, three saves. 25 plus on the manager rating. So maybe one training session or two training sessions and we might be no longer a sub. So I'd have advanced on. We've got Burton away next episode. Bolton at home. Leighton Orient away and then we've got the is that the next Carabao Cup round we got drawn to Huddersfield so not a bad fixture still a tough championship side we've got about well we've got 2200 pounds in the bank we can start buying things or buying ourselves a trampoline soon so yeah if you did enjoy this episode make sure you leave a like if this episode can get uh let's go 75 likes I will make sure We'll have a next one out within two days. And I'll keep them coming, I promise you. Every two days I will post a goalkeeper career mode episode as long as they keep getting likes, views and you guys are enjoying it. So let me know in the comment what you think. That's all for this episode. What a start to the career. We've done well so far. Time to kick on and get the starting position. I've been the TSG. Goodbye.